As we're advancing day by day, it's evident that artificial intelligence is taking over most of the sectors around us and now restaurants and food chains are no exceptions. You heard it right, restaurants that are run by AI-integrated robots are making a tremendous hit. The traditional food-making process by humans is now taken care of by these robots, producing more efficient, consistent and tasty foods that people are loving. So are you wondering what these restaurants are and how they are working? Well, here's your answer. Welcome to AI Science. Join us today as we explore the details of phenomenal AI technology-enabled robots and their efficiency in the world of futuristic restaurants. Robots are a gift to the industry of restaurants. High rent in cities makes it difficult for people to launch their own food enterprises, as well as driving people out from cities, making it more difficult to find staff. All of this raises the cost of meals for consumers. There are also countries with elderly and shrinking populations, such as Japan. Because the average age in Japan is 46 years old, there are few unskilled workers, making hiring pricey. As a result, restaurants in Japan must be able to operate efficiently with fewer people. The advantage of using robots to cook is that you will require less space, which means you will pay less rent, and the robots will be able to handle repetitive jobs while people watch and manage the machines. Zoom Pizza – fresh pizza by robots whenever you want. Julia Collins, the co-founder of Zoom Pizza, a pizza-making robot startup, noted that utilizing robots reduced labor expenses, allowing them to invest the savings in locally sourced, ethically produced ingredients. Zoom Pizza's pizzas had around half the calories and fats of the national average pizza, and its labor expenses were half of the national average for pizza businesses, thanks to the superior quality ingredients that they used. The human workers who did work at Zoom Pizza, on the other hand, all enjoyed full health insurance and were business shareholders. In robotic kitchens, human workers are still necessary. They are needed for a variety of jobs, including preparing food for when the robots and machines take over, producing sauces, preparing side dishes, and ensuring that everything runs properly. Human-machine teams are more productive than human-only or machine-only teams, according to MIT researchers. Spice Restaurant by Ex-Employees of SpaceX Now, let's take a look inside Boston's Spice Restaurant, which was founded by four MIT engineering students. These youngsters were water polo teammates who required healthy food on a student budget and didn't have the time to prepare it. They were obsessed with robots as well as water polo. One of the founders, the CEO, previously worked at SpaceX. Spice was founded by these engineers and robotics-inclined students and Daniel Bolard, a Michelin-starred chef. Spice employs seven robotic walkers, each capable of serving 150 meals each hour. These robotic works can make rice and grain bowls, curries, salads, stir-fries, pasta, and noodle bowls that are all configurable. Korean, Thai, Indian, and more cuisines are available. When a customer walks in, they use a touchscreen to make an order and customize their dish. After that, the order is immediately sent to the ingredient supply system. The ingredients are loaded into the woks via the hoppers. The cooked food is then poured into a bowl by the wok. The food is subsequently garnished and made attractive by a human. Meanwhile, jet spray and sanitize the works automatically, making them ready for the next order. Each meal was created a function with a single cooking technique and it only takes 3 minutes from the time you place the order to receive your food, which costs $7.50. Flippy the robot runs a burger joint. The Creator Burger restaurant is located in San Francisco. Burgers are prepared on an assembly line at this eatery. Two 14-foot long fully automated machines can each produce 240 burgers in an hour. From chopping the tomatoes for each order to grinding the meat and shaping it into patties, the machines handle a lot of the prep work. This is made possible by 20 computers and 350 sensors with 11 thermal sensors at work when it comes to cooking the meat patties. Humans are still required for other prep labor, as well as the preparation of sauces and the sides. The burger buns are sliced, buttered, and toasted by the machines. The sliced buns are then carried along a motorized conveyor belt, where fresh ingredients are cut and deposited into the buns based on the order. The burger patties are made with ground chuck and brisket portions, and grilled to order. The robot machines allow chefs to spend far more on high-quality ingredients while still providing clients with a low-cost burger in under 5 minutes. In San Francisco, a burger at McDonald's can cost anywhere from $45, while the Creator Burger costs $6. A robotic arm is another approach to making burgers with robots. This may be seen at the Cali Burger location in Pasadena. 
The Flippy robot was created in collaboration with Miso Robotics. Flippy is a kitchen assistant with the help of artificial intelligence. It makes use of 3D and thermal sensors as well as cameras. It recognizes when the pads are placed on the grill by a human and keeps track of each patty as it cooks. Flippy can also switch tools on its own using one spatula to flip the burger on the raw meat side and another spatula to turn the burger on the cooked meat side and it can clean the grill. This eliminates the need for a human employee to stand in front of a hot greasy grill or a hot oil fryer all day because there is a version of Flippy that can manage fryers. The Rise of AI-Enabled Food and Beverage Assistance Look no further than the 200 plus Alexa-enabled products for some robotic assistance at home. Without pressing any buttons, you can tell the Amazon microwave how long you want it to cook for and when you want it to stop. Because there are pre-programmed presets, you can even ask for more specific commands. These microwaves also come with scanning software that allows you to scan the barcode of food packages with your phone and have the timer and power level automatically set according to the directions on the package. There are other coffee machines that can be controlled by voice. So as you're waking up in your bedroom, you build the bedroom speaker in order to start the coffee machine downstairs. When you're not at home, you can configure the coffee maker to brew hot coffee for you at a specific time each morning. The Sally Vending Machine, invented by Chobotics, is another robotic food option. Sally makes healthy bowls that you can personalize by choosing up to 8 components for your salad, grain or yogurt bowl. They can be found in 70 different places around the world, including university campuses. They can also be found in hospitals, which are open 24 hours a day. Sally provides healthy meals to doctors and nurses, working day and night shifts, as well as guests at any time, substituting junk food vending machines. Each bowl takes 90 seconds to be prepared and the 22 ingredients are refrigerated and replenished daily. Everything fits into a 3 foot by 3 foot space and can serve food 24 hours a day. Zoom Pizza on break while ghost kitchens are trending Taking a look back at Zoom Pizzas, they stopped creating pizzas in January 2020 and are now focusing on offering other food companies automated food production and mobile kitchen technologies as well as ecological packaging. Because of the massive increase in online food deliveries, Zoom is working on automating delivery manufacturing. Most individuals these days have never set foot in the restaurant where their food is delivered, which has given rise to ghost kitchens, also known as virtual kitchens. These are commercial kitchens built up solely for the purpose of making deliveries. When you can do online deliveries, there's no need for an expensive restaurant space where customers can sit and eat. Some are set up like co-working space with a number of small kitchens that can be rented out on a month-to-month -month basis. These kitchens have been used by catering firms. There are also food delivery only restaurant names popping up as well as restaurants that have a physical location but operate out of a ghost kitchen in another area of town. This allows them to extend their delivery service without having to open a new restaurant. In addition to New York, London and Los Angeles, ghost kitchens have appeared in China. Travis Kalanick, the former CEO of Uber, has launched a kitchen firm called Cloud Kitchens. The question is, when these two worlds will emerge, the robots will be put in these ghost kitchens. Perhaps a human could prepare the ingredients while a robot machine cooks and assembles the dishes, working side by side. A delivery worker then picks up the meals and delivers them to the customer's door. Perhaps you won't need the human on the robot side at all. Instead, a person can walk throughout the city visiting various ghost kitchens while the robot sends messages requesting assistance or additional supplies. So the robots keep working and come to us, the humans, for assistance. What are your thoughts on these restaurants run by robots? Do you think in the future they can completely take over humans and boom the restaurant industry? Comment down below.